Jake sighed as he looked around the empty recording studio, the mixing boards and instruments casting long shadows under the dim lights. He had been working late into the night all week, trying to meet the deadline for his client's album. As he took a brief break, he leaned back in his chair and put on a classic jazz track, letting the smooth sounds and rich vocals transport him back to old Hollywood. That glamorous era and the mysterious starlets with their tumultuous lives had always fascinated him. Closing his eyes for a moment, he thought he smelled perfume, a subtle floral scent that seemed out of place. When he opened them, he saw a figure standing silently across the room, a woman in a satin gown, platinum curls spilling over her shoulders. She seemed to glow despite the weak lighting, a phantom not of this world. Jake's heart quickened as she spoke, her voice smoky and resonant. You appreciate the shadows of the past, don't you? She gestured around the studio. They linger in places like this. Jake stammered, struggling to comprehend how she could be real. You died a long time ago, this isn't possible. She glided towards him, her airy laughter sending a chill down his spine. Oh, I'm still quite present, handsome. My soul never found peace after my tragic end. It lingers here still, tied to this place I last recorded. Jake's mind reeled. Could this be the glamorous starlet whose death had been surrounded by such mystery? As if reading his thoughts, she perched near him, the scent of Chanel No. 5 overwhelming now. I know you want the answers they never gave me. Help me move on, and I'll finally be free of this room. Still in shock, Jake wavered, unsure if he was losing his grip on reality or if there was truth in her words. As she took his hand, an electric current shot through him, she gazed at him intently and whispered, Trust me. Suddenly, Jake sped along twisting canyon roads in the darkness, top down on a sleek silver roadster. She drove recklessly fast, the cliffside barely visible at each turn. Jake clung to his seat, shouting over the roar of the engine. Where are we? What's happening? She glanced over, hair and gown billowing dramatically around her. This was my fateful last ride, never to make it to that dreadful party. As they rounded a sharp bend, she lost control, the car leaving the road and plunging into oblivion. With a shocked gasp, Jake found himself back in the dim studio, breathless as though the air had been knocked from his lungs. She watched him calmly, a hint of sadness in her eyes. So now you see, will you help give me the closure I was denied? Jake hesitated only a moment before resolutely standing, taking her hand. He led her toward the recording booth, where instruments glowed under the lights like sleeping phantoms. He gestured to the microphone. If I capture your voice again, will it finally set you free? A cryptic smile touched her lips as she glided forward. Closing her eyes, she began to sing a jazz standard, her voice at once ethereal and deeply resonant. Enthralled, Jake recorded her performance, watching as her silhouette slowly dissolved into light, fading away verse by haunting verse. As the song ended, Jake found himself alone again in the studio. Yet, despite the empty room, he sensed she had found the peace that had evaded her for so long. He looked down at the recorded track still glowing on the screen, the only proof she had ever really been there at all. With a thoughtful smile, he saved the file simply as silver shadows. 